So hello everybody, what's the crack? Um, so look as the title suggests, I'm after blowing up my controller. Well, look, I suppose saying blown up is a bit of an exaggeration, but I did fry it, it's cooked. Uh, it's no more use, um, and it's completely my fault. So I, de I decided I'd do a video just to kind of explain what I did wrong, how it all happened, and uh, what I'm doing as a result. Now, if you're watching this video because you've seen the title on YouTube and you think that I'm going to give you some kind of a solution or a fix, then I really do apologize. Uh, I know absolutely nothing about these things and I have no solution. My solution involves me getting a new one. So I just want to let you know in case you, you, you start watching this. I don't want you to have to watch the whole thing. But if you want to watch the whole thing, it's it's about me explaining kind of what happened and you know how I done it. So yeah, I was... um. This is the wiring that comes with these Sabaton controllers. And uh, what I was doing was I was trying to connect the pedal assist. And it, it, it look, it's it's not really, some of the wiring here isn't really well put together, but I, I, I'm not blaming anyone, this is my fault. I had my battery connected, I was at the wiring, and one of these free, a wire, a spare wire that was that had pulled itself out of the connector, had somehow made its way, I know this isn't this is difficult to see, but say one of these wires had made its way and it had gone into the back of another connector because I saw a spark. I looked down, I saw that there was a stray wire touching the back of a connector and I actually pulled out that stray wire and that's what had happened. So um, I could have avoided that by disconnecting the battery and then after I'd connect my pedal assist sensor, maybe I'd have seen the stray wire. Now, one of the things I'm going to do when I get my, my new controller to uh, avoid a similar problem, I, I'm gonna do it anyway, is there's these cable, I suppose they're like cable ties, are they? They're for cables, they're these spiral guys. And I'm gonna put one of these on um, each one of the, they only, they only wind on, but I'm gonna put one of these onto each, coming off each connector like that. So that if one of these wires do come loose, then it will be, it will stay inside in this group of wires and it won't be free to do what happened to me. But um, yeah, I'm gonna do that anyway. So, so that's one solution, but the obvious solution here is I'm going to disconnect my battery every time I get my wiring. Um, yeah, so look, I did take it apart. I wanted to have a look inside in it to see what happened because this is going to be, this is no good anymore. So I took out the screws, took it apart, and there you go, lads. Oh, what lick? Yeah, I know absolutely nothing. I have no I have no clue what I'm looking at. I don't know why I'm looking into it. I had kind of black, black smoke uh, staining here I could rub off my finger. And there is a little little thing had blown off underneath here. In one of these little guys. So so see I think it's see these little I don't know, are they transistors? These little these little these little guy ins, these fellas? I don't know what they are. But one of them had blown completely off. The um it had left behind like a kind of a paper, like an insulation and stuff, which I just picked out with a little with this guy actually. So I picked that out and um it had uh I, I I, I, I don't know. Look, that's at that. I don't know. I may as well be. I don't know. I don't know what that is. So anyway, yeah, so that's, that's no good. So it left me with three options, right? So the first option was um, take this away and get it fixed. Now, that would I would imagine that would involve, you know, putting the controller back together, wiring it up as best I can, leaving it disconnected from the battery. But uh, I'd probably have to take the bike because they'd want the battery connection and the motor. They'd want everything, I, I, I would think. And taking it to someone to get it fixed. Now, there is no one around here that I know. And to me, looking for somebody, it just felt like a big giant pain, actually. The second option was I could buy a new one. Now, a new one of these is about um, 134 bucks or something, I think. Which they're not, not hugely expensive, but like they're not cheap either. And uh, I could buy a new one of these, but it wouldn't be configured to my bike. So that, that, that even though it would work, I just felt that I'd be sitting at home then... And I'd be using, like, there's a Bluetooth connection on these guys. So I could use that Bluetooth connection then to put in all of the, um, I think they're like, um, they're, they're, they're like fields that you fill in with, with numbers. And I know there's guys on YouTube that show you exactly what to do. And, and with your bike, you put in your wheel size, you put in these angles, you put in, there's loads of stuff that goes into these things. And if anyone knows anything about these now, I know they'll probably be laughing, thinking, geez, your man really doesn't have a clue. And I really don't have a clue. So that's the reason why I didn't bother buying a new one because I know I'd be sitting here I'd follow all the instructions on on uh, on 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 YouTube and then it wouldn't work I just have an awful feeling that um I'd be kicking myself so for extra money now it cost a lot more I think it's like 240 bucks delivered to me my supplier that I bought it off originally will send me another one configured for my bike and um they'll have all settings done so I literally plug it in and use it again so that's it um 
this video is just about owning up to, to, to my mistake and what happened. Um, and I'm sorry if you started watching this thinking there was a fix, there's no fix for me. There's some great lads on YouTube that may be able to help you. But yeah, that's it. Look, I may as well just chuck this now. I don't know. Um, so yeah, so that's me now sitting here for another month waiting for it to come. Uh, no e-bike for a month, guys. See you later.